And after being delayed for one year, the Summer Olympics will begin in Tokyo this week. ABC Action News sports anchor Kyle Berger spoke with Florida Gator swimmer Bobby Fink on becoming the first male swimmer from Pinellas County to be a U.S. Olympian. When the kid couldn't even walk, I would take him down to the um, pool. Bobby Fink has come a long way since his mom's swimming lessons and the sibling competition. Well, I have two older sisters. We're all pretty competitive, uh, and I, I think that's really helped me the most is just um, being competitive with them. Fink is going to Tokyo. He's the former countryside high school swimmer punched his ticket to the Tokyo Olympics with wins in the 800 and 1500 meter races at U.S. qualifiers last month. Yeah, when I hugged him after the 800, yeah, I, I cried. <laughs> He's gone to nearly every single practice with me um, in high school, and just growing up. So he, he was always there for those car rides, the long trips, the weather, the traffic, 4 a.m.s, um, just everything. Bobby qualifying for Team USA is bittersweet for his family. Because of COVID-19, spectators are not allowed at the Tokyo Olympics. Chances are we'll have a better view of him swimming on TV than we would if we were there. I mean, we would love to be there. It is what it is, you live with what you got. And what they got is technology, doing their best to stay connected while a world apart. I've, I've been getting a lot of a lot of dog pictures of uh, my dog, so I'm really looking forward to seeing them all again, um, especially Brewster. Uh, he's my dog. In St. Pete, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.